everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am key this is keys playing life so really really quick y'all real quick because i got some stuff to do um i want to show you these um perfumes that i picked up now i know what you're saying key don't you got enough perfumes and you are right i do have enough but these were two of okay two of them are perfumes that i have been wanting that i saved up for the other one is a perfume that I was introduced to when I went into the store and noticed that it was new from the collection that I like. So, the one that was new from the... And all this... Oh, one came from Ulta and two came from Sephora. So, I'm going to show you the one that came from Ulta first. And it's the one that I was introduced to when I walked in the store. And it is the Viva La Juicy Rose. A lot of you may have already seen this. If you are on my Instagram, I did post it on my Instagram. First of all, let's talk about that packaging. I love that. And my daughter keeps these boxes because we're going to be doing something special with her room. So pretty boxes like that she keeps. But this smells so good. This is 3.4 ounces. It was $145. No, not this one. This one was $100. And it smells so good. It actually smells like roses. And... Let's just talk about, I love that pin that's on there. I uh, hope y'all can see it. That cute little pin that's on there. I think it's so pretty. And if I'm not mistaken, it has like little pink uh, crystals in it. And I'm going to use this safety pin as a cute little charm when I decide to take it off this bottle. But I just thought the packaging and everything on here was really, really pretty, really dope. So we're adding that to the collection. The next one is one that I have been wanting for a long time. Why I never got it, I don't know. But I'm kind of glad that I went ahead and got it now. And y'all, I don't even know why I got all these perfumes. Because I, I, I go places, but I don't move like I used to since the pandemic. So... But the next one I'm going to show you is the one I got from Sephora. And it is a classic. It's Gucci Guilty. And this is in a 2.5 ounce. This one was... Was this 80 something? I think this was 80 something, 86 bucks or something like that. But... That bottle is chic too. So I'm going to keep that for my daughter. Because she... Like we really going to be doing something nice with these boxes. And I can't wait to show y'all what we come up with. But that is what it looks like. This packaging was so well made when they made this packaging. It's just bomb.com. Just freaking bomb. And this is, like I said, 2.5 ounces. Mm, mm -mm. This is one of those scents that if you don't have it in your arsenal, you need to have it. Because this is one of the holy grail scents. This it this was when I first got introduced to perfumes. This was the first one I ever tried, and it just smells so good. It's like it's like a boss scent. Like you have some scents that are girly. I have a few girly scents. I have a few um, sexy scents, and then I have some boss scents. That, and this is one of them. And another thing that introduced me to this, I was reading a book. That was called Gucci Guilty. And, and that was around the same time I got introduced to this perfume. So, yeah. But last but not least, I seen, I think I think her name is All Things Destiny or all, I think it's All De all of Destiny or All Things Destiny. I seen her uh, vlog and I had been known about this perfume. But I wasn't sure if I was going to get it. And if you watch all of this, thing, then you know what perfume I'm talking about. But I had seen it and I had already knew it was out there. But I didn't know how it was hit smelled. And every time I went to Sephora, they never had it in their storefront. So I'm, I'm the type of person, if I don't know how something smells and I don't try it or I don't, I can't smell it, I'm not going to purchase it. Went to went to the store still didn't see it and i just took a chance because after watching her video 
um, her vlog, her birthday vlog, she was like, it smells so amazing. Like, if you don't have it, you got to get it. It smells so, so good. And I was like, okay, I'm going to jump out the box. I'm going to purchase it from Sephora. That way, if I stop to, that way, if I get it from Sephora, if I want to take it back, I can take it back with no problem. And that is Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. This perfume right here was $145. And I got the 3.4 ounce. Oh, y'all. Y'all see, y'all always see the pictures of the Coco Chanel perfumes, but you never had one. And I finally got one and we're going to test it out. We're going to see if it smells as good as she say. Hold on. Mmm. Oh. Just, just spraying it. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm <laughs> That smell good. This one. Oh, that smells good. Audrey! Watch this. Audrey always tell me the truth. Yeah. I want you to smell this. I want you to tell me how it smell. What kind of... Smell like Tokyo poop mixed up with a dumpster behind the oil. No, thing. seriously, how do it smell? It smell good. It smells like something you got though. I feel like it's something I got. I can't put my hands on it. I feel like it's a like oh no, it's not good. Mark Jacob decadence. We know it's not that because you didn't have decadence. Um, I feel familiar. like I got it. Smell familiar. And it smells so good. I can't think of which one it is because they all smell so good. But I definitely got this, huh? Yeah, it smells like it. You should have got your dog. Oh, that smells so good. Y'all, she wasn't lying. It smells amazing. But it smells like I... that It don't smell like time forward, do it? I don't think so. What do this smell like? It don't smell like none of my Chloe's. Period. That's on period. Mm -mm. I don't think nobody messing with Chloe. It don't smell like Daisy. No, it smell like none of my Daisy perfumes. It's gonna be strong. I know sweet scent. It smell like it could be my YSL. It ain't my Jimmy Choo. It gotta be the YS one of the YSLs. It gotta be. What perfume is that? This is Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. I seen that before. I seen that perfume man. On on paintings. <laughs> on paintings. Yeah, that's exactly why I seen that. That's a, that's on everything. They <laughs> so, make that Coco Chanel seem like that's something special. But it smell. It definitely is not my. It don't smell like my CK one. <laughs> I mean, it's still cool to have Coco Chanel, like, you know, it smells like the, the perfume. Yeah. Y'all still got Coco Chanel. Nigga, you mad, come on. It smells freaking good. Dog, Max. I, I just can't think of what it is. Now, introduce yourself to this. Come spray this on your body. That's pretty much. I got that yesterday. I knew you got this new. What the heck? I'm, I'm seeing your perfume collection. I'm in it. I know. That's why I make sure I buy big bottles, because you're in it. He mad because I won't touch it. Hey, so we trying to figure out something. That smells like you fresh out the shower. Uh-huh. Yeah, that smells like fresh out the shower. What's this? That's uh J Viva La Juicy. Uh, I knew it. Look at the decor. Look at how it looks. Mm -hmm. I saved the bottles because I was telling them you like the bottles and stuff. I mean, the boxes. Yes, we need to get the decorated room. room. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So, I got my dream perfume. I got a new perfume to try. And I got a everyone's fave perfume. So, I'm glad that I have them. And 
like she say yes i have this scent already somewhere in one of my collections but you can't go wrong with a coco chanel bottle job so i'm gonna get out of here remember to think smart and spend smarter and we might do a little perfume haul for Audrey for her birthday. I don't know. Because she got 24 days of Audrey coming up in April, honey. So we shall see. But I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.